Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Bragg from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. I adjusted my seat while you weren't looking. Yeah, good point. They're always looking. Everyone's looking at this one. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, let's start with you, Bragg. Oh, Master Jewel. Yeah, how's uh, it going? Yeah, alright. Like, it is quicker to play Pearly as... Like, I play Pearly quicker than the other decks I suck at. But still. Pearly still takes a long time to play. Yeah, it's... Yeah, you have to draw three times in the standby phase and then flip a trap and then draw another three times in the standby phase and then... Draw six, easy. I still haven't changed my default setting to activate in the draw phase. Yeah, like, so like, I've, on. I've So, like, I've changed it so I've got the cursor if I hold on the left click. So I can get right, to left yeah. click pretty quick, okay. so... I'm alright. So yeah, I can play in the draw phase, so that's alright. Uh, yeah, deck, deck goes okay. It's just I haven't come across my proper competition yet. Like, I haven't done yeah, mirror yet same. or anything, so... I'm just running through ranked, like, oh yeah, cool, win. Oh, yeah, win. Oh, win. Funny, because I haven't versed a pearly player yet. Yeah, like, I think I'm at the bottom of diamond. That's better than I thought you'd be, considering you don't play that much. I, I didn't reset me that, like, all the way down to silver this time, because I actually played last season. Oh, yeah, true, you were playing a bit yeah. last season. So I got to, like, the top of diamond and then gave up. I gave up not because I was losing. I gave up because I just couldn't be bothered. I think I got to the end of the battle pass and was like... No more. Well, we'll get on to that in a second. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, Pearly, yeah, well, yeah. Um, what are you using a like a supplementary draw engine like Dark Worlds or anything? No, it's just no, just put shit in bin and hope you draw. Got three sleepy memory, just go out to of town with that. That'll be enough. I'm thinking I'm at play more like because I'm playing a lot of blowout cards in case I go second. Yeah, I think I should just be playing more hand traps that I can use that I can draw off my sleepies. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, it's all hand traps, all that. Like, I'm yeah. not even bothering with the discard engine now. Like, yeah, like, I'll just, I've discarded a hand trap going, oh, well, it's not doing anything for me now, and I'm going to draw, like, three next turn. Sometimes, yeah. I, I, pro- I want to start doing the play, but I've ended up with a lot of going second games just because I lose coin flips now for some reason. But, um, it, I'm tempted to do the plump set Pelly Eep pass yeah. and then just draw a million that's what I've been that's how I've been playing yeah so that's like it's like plump with field spell if I can get it and pearly Eep, and then just go yep draw three flip draw three cool yeah so awesome. I want to get into playing that way but I just haven't been able to so yeah. it's a bit annoying because I'm like oh I'm going to draw two oh, that also <laughs> gives you I think three disruptions off the noir yeah, true. Yeah, because you go up another one. Yeah, I had forgotten... straight so good. Yeah, I had forgotten my uh, Noir's intricacies, where I thought Noir had to have the Xes to keep keeping a quick effect, and I was playing along, and I was like, "Oh, I need to keep the Xes here, so I'll detach the monster, and then it's no longer a quick effect." <laughs> and I was like, well, "At least I still have enough material that it's just unaffected." Yeah, and I just won alone just from my opponent not being able to out it. <laughs> and a lot of wins are. Normal summon pearly and yeah, it's like it's only been out for two days. How are we already sick of it? Because it's already existed in the actual format for the OCG for a year. That's yeah, fine. But one sleepy memory. They all still play to relevant mirrors. Yeah, pearly's only been good since. Yeah, but they don't like dog slash cat deck. They like fusy women deck. Yes. Well, pearly hasn't even been good there since like like has only been good since like March. Come on. Yeah, I don't think it was good when they got rid of Element. But do you think that's, like, the point of contention, is that it's currently good, like, in the, the normal game and Master Duel? So, like, it's not an escape to go back to Master Duel, like, go back to the retro format of Master Duel. It's like, oh, no, Pearly is just everywhere. Pearly is everywhere. Thankfully, it's not our locals. I don't want to have to read it. What? Yeah, I don't know what any of it does. I was playing it, then I stopped. Yeah, I know, you moved on to... Yeah. Well, they hit the I good one! I didn't play one. the switch between the two, and then I just haven't had any problems with Rescue Ace, so I'm like, no, oh, I just won't play Pearly. Nah, not 100% true, but we'll get on to that in a second, too. Um, anything nah, in the physical card game? Everything else is Pokemon Go. Literally yeah, every we, other... We've it's... been playing a lot of Pokemon Go. Which, and then it'll be the DLC. <laughs> I popped the mic. <laughs> that hurt a lot as well. 
Oh, yeah. Ow. No, it's, it's not too bad. It's getting better. Man, yeah, he's got the good drugs now. Well, no, no, he's just... No, I'm not. It's simply the fact that they, like, gave me stuff to help, like, at that one-off point. What? I didn't think they could do anything to help a broken rib. I thought you just had to be, like... No, but, like, so I hadn't gotten proper rest in, like, two weeks. Sorry, side so point to... of Ben's life, crack rib. And, like, I hadn't properly rested in two weeks. And then the fact that they gave me, like, painkillers to, like, pretty much lay me out that whole night. Like, I now feel a lot better because I've actually recovered a little. I feel like that was probably the same as, like, um, when I... Yeah, again, side note, I don't have a belly button anymore. Um, <laughs> we knew that from last week's podcast. But Although people didn't listen to the end, they won't know. True. We cloned them. Um, well, they only had their right earphone in. If... Just to hey. self-defecate for just a second, or uh, is that the word? No. Deprecate. That's the one. Um, <laughs> so self-defecate. Self <laughs> <laughs> to self-defecate. De what's the fucking word? Deprecate. I deprecate. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen the word written, so I just always assumed it was, like, the one I kept saying. But anyway, um, I was in pain for, like, a good two weeks with no idea as to why. Um, went to the hospital, and then they, like pumped me full of like the um the drugs um and, and then then, and like <laughs> that was i was laying down the entire day because i just assumed that i'd be in pain and any time that i moved in that time frame was like excruciating pain um but then when i got up to leave the hospital i'm like oh i feel great <laughs> oh. see mine was different where they, they gave me the stuff but miraculously the hospital ran so quickly that it hadn't kicked in until i got home it's like i caught the bus and like got home on the bus, hopped off and was like, oh, <laughs> I feel pretty good. The pain's kind of stopped. And I was like, I'm going to go to Chico's. Not to get Chico's, just to get ice cream. I went and got gelato. And then I came back and like by the time I got back to the lounge, I was like, oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> this, is, this is all kicked in now. In goes all the gelato. <laughs> and then I literally just laid there for like four hours. After I had the surgery, I must have still been, like, whacked out on the um, anaesthetic. And, um, like, I didn't get, like, a dinner order. I just I, got... I thought we stopped. Oh, I did the spin cycle. Oh, okay. I, um, like, dinner was brought to me, but I didn't get the order. Um, they just, like, brought me whatever. Yep. And But I'd seen the menu sitting on my thing. So I'd just seen the menu and, like, oh, okay, I can ask for the pasta. And then they brought out some, like, um, chicken with gravy on it. And I was like in such a bitch mood. I was like, I don't want chicken. I want pasta. <laughs> <laughs> and then oh I, couldn't, I couldn't get my bed to adjust. So I was lying flat and like the table's oh, up here. Pasta. <laughs> Pretty much. Like my mum's sitting with me after surgery and I'm like chugging a four year old level hissy fit being like, I want pasta. <laughs> See, we cloned him and that was him going through his terrible twos. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, he's. Wow. This is more evidence that we cloned him. We have to do the birds and bees soon. Uh, yeah, it's getting that time of year. Um, half related. So you broke, you did that not last Monday, the Monday Two before. Two weeks ago, yeah. When was your first locals you dropped? The Tuesday after or the Tuesday No, no, before? I won the Tuesday with the broken rib. It was oh, the Sunday. With a broken freaking rib. Yep. Oh, well, I can't yep. tie those together then. I was going to say the pain was like throwing them off, but no. No, I was like laser focused. I was like, just focus on the cuts, focus on the cuts, focus on the cuts. Sunday, when he was on his meds and feeling better, he threw it all away. Yeah, today, yeah, sure. I mean, not today. I wasn't on the today, meds last Sunday. Today, was on the meds last Sunday. Who I was, was only on the meds this Sunday. No, oh, then I don't know what to happened. To be fair, I wasn't I know what not happened on last any Sunday. new meds. Like, they only gave me like a one-off injection and dose at that point. Also, yeah, they gave me exercise study, which helped a lot. You know. We've, I, I we've gone know. on a full fucking tangent. Which is great, because there's like, fuck all news. Nah, that's fine. <laughs> I could take deep breath twice. Also, they were like, dear God, you need to start doing this, otherwise you'll get pneumonia. And I was like, you get pneumonia from this? You he's, need to breathe or you die. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. They're like, yeah, you like, stop, you stop breathing properly. And then, like, it builds fluid on your lungs. And oh. I was like, oh, shit, that's a thing? Shit, and I like, never thought of that. Yeah, because oh. you're not taking deep breaths anymore. Right, that, that's what you're here for, gamers. Breathe. Yeah. Or you'll die. 
but I don't know if this is a purely male thing, but like there's been occasions where I'm like watching a TV show or like just thinking on something Heavy and breathing. I take such a deep breath that I have to think to myself, did I forget to breathe for a sec? <laughs> like I just sit there and then I go. When Jake's watching Animal Planet, he sees a lioness in the wild. He's like. <sighs> just don't make out that I'm horny for fucking. I'm just saying it triggers your primal urges. <laughs> Look, it's that or QI. What are we going to, like... <laughs> who are you breathing heavy for? That lioness or Steve Fry? <laughs> What's two plus six today, guys? Do you, we, I wonder if we could get that QI thing. What QI thing? QI board right here? Yeah, that, like, flashes up on those answers. Oh, with the klaxon. <laughs> it's like, he didn't play the locals again. <laughs> That's just me. I'm your klaxon. Every time you're like, I could go to locals, but I won't. I'm just like... <laughs> Yeah. Anyway. Um, ben, how was your week? My week was fine. I won locals on Tuesday. Um, was relatively uneventful. Yeah, like, really, really. The only thing I remember is that me and Jake in game three just didn't read each other's cards. Yep. But my not reading didn't cost me the game. Correct. To be fair, you're not reading... Yeah. Things. We both decided it, to just not read each other's cards, and then you tried to pop something else. But there's a million lots like, of text on that. To pop. Yeah, but all of them read the same. <laughs> they yeah, all correct. say destroy things. It was quite... Wait, was it the one where... Or was it the week before where you were like... No, no, it was this exact situation where I was like, I'm not reading your cards. Just do whatever they do. And then you were like, okay, it pops. And I was like, it's fine. And he was like, it's non-targeting. And then pops the wrong card. And I'm like, ha... Huh. You'll also lose for not reading. <laughs> Turb, bop, win. Yeah, I didn't realise that Turb is not only the thing that does the thing, it then does more things. If you get rid of everything else. So like, you can use the protect to protect your Turb, mm. and then when they remove everything else, the Turb pops. Yeah. Opponent, Zeus's. You protect Turb with the trap, then pop the Zeus. Your opponent has nothing left. You're one. Good work. Um, but then, still, then do you still today, have Turb, though, in your hand? No, no, so you have Turb on field, yeah, yeah, yeah. with like other shit, yeah. your opponent Zeus's, yeah. you activate the protection spell on the Turb, yep. so it's unaffected by monster effects, Yeah. and Fair then the Turb, Zeus sends everything else, then the yeah. Turb triggers and sends the Zeus. Yeah. 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 But you don't have anything either then. No, you still have the Turb. The Turb still have the Turb. Okay. Yeah. So that's pretty good. It's a good play. Zeus sucks apparently. Well. Just in that situation, you can just be like, it's fine. Especially if like the Zeus is your opponent's last resort, they just lose. When would that ever be the case? <laughs> um, and today, yeah, it was fine. Um, I made Jake really mad in game one. I opened the nuts in game one. Oh, yeah. And then in game two, I opened even better. Than the nuts? Yeah. Like, What's better than nuts? Cross out was, and call by. Yeah, I opened cross out and call by. So, like, <laughs> he goes lightning storm, and I'm like, cross out, lightning storm. And then he dark holes me? Did you? I think so. Yeah, he dark holes me, gets rid of my monsters, and then thrusts for the trap. That's the most J player. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, he dark holes me. <laughs> I summon back the one from Banish, search emergency. Then he goes I thrust, thrust for... into evenly matched, and I'm like, this is fine. I use the protection spell to get it into bin so I can recycle my spells back. And then I use that to protect the monster. Evenly goes off. I keep the call by the grave that's still here. <laughs> The moment he starts trying to do things, I'm just like... Well, no. this is the thing. I, my hand was only side cards and, yeah. like, response cards. So I had the one search for A-bomb, which really wasn't going to get me anywhere, yeah. which got ashed. I had the ash. And then when <laughs> he went to try and play on his turn, I went to ash him, and he used the call by. Yeah. That and the thing is, I held, I was like, and the, thing is, I held the ash on his turn. I could have ashed in several different parts, which would have gotten rid of the call by and turned off his ash. But I didn't want to turn on any tactics and things for him to rip the lightning storm out of my hand. So, man knows I've been putting tactics in my deck. Well, it's a it's a natural thing with cross out, right? Because like if you're gonna cross out hand traps, you might as well get some value. But anyway, normally I use the cross out for blowout. So that's my game one. Uh, round two. Round two is my favorite. Miraculously, I didn't get DQ'd because I wasn't in the store when time when the round started. I was like. Ah, it's fine. I'm getting DQ'd, I'm getting DQ'd. But I didn't. So I played Kurt. 
And what happened in game one? Game one, I was just an idiot. Because it's been so long since I've played against fucking uh, Runic. Runic IRL that I just forgot he doesn't have a battle phase. Oh, that's right. You scooped assuming that he'd kill you and he couldn't yeah. go to oh, battle yeah, phase. Yeah, <laughs> like, I had kill combo next turn and I was like, oh, he's got a huge board. I'm just dead. I'm just going to scoop. No. Yeah, didn't realize he didn't have a battle phase. Um, also, why is he playing evenly matched if he's playing Runic? Is it for my battle phase? Yeah, set. Sorry, this is just the thought set of evenly that I've, that I've Yeah, actually, had. that's a good point. Yeah, so I'm assuming he's going to evenly me if I don't kill him in my battle phase. I think game two, Curtin pulls off the biggest brain decision in the world and sides in Nib. Normally, I would not play into, into Nib. I'd normally just go three, four summons, done, set four, pass. But because he's playing Runic, I'm like, well, I'm going to set up the targeting protection. But that plays into the Nib. But that's not the reason why Kurt put the nib in. Kurt was just like, oh, it seemed like you were going to summon. <laughs> like, God fucking damn it. <laughs> I had a good feeling. <laughs> like, it was a really good play for the wrong reason. <laughs> it could have been so much better too, because if he just put the Nibiru into attack mode, crashed into it, and then even lead you, you we would have been... Have a battle phase. Hmm? You didn't have a battle phase. If you were going first and he hasn't activated any runic cards... No, I think he runic carded in draw phase. Well, that's what I'm saying, though. If he yeah. just like he thought about it after too, if he'd put the Nibiru into attack, like he was okay. even thinking about it on your turn. He said yeah. someone in defense, and then he's like, "I'll oh, wait, no, put it in attack," because oh, yeah. he had the okay. evenly already okay. in hand. Yeah, he had like runic in draw phase to like get rid of a back row. So yeah, that was it. And then game three, yeah, one game three. Um, yeah, Cash Tier is a is a very easy matchup. Oh yeah, you have a book of moon on legs. Yeah. <laughs> also, the cute thing is like, they banish your shit with rise heart, and you're like, ha ha ha, and you just like, out the rise heart, summon it back with dark charmer, and then attach all of your shit that's face down back to your rise heart. And you're just like, I've now got it all back, and I have your banish. Thank you. It's great. It's a good matchup. I like it. How was your week, Jake? Uh, my week was okay. Um, so on Master Duel, I am playing Dogmatic Ritual still. Um, going off without too much of a hassle. Um, the things that cause me the biggest grief are back row decks, because they don't give a fuck about their extra deck, and Cash Tira, because they have Fenrir. Um, but for the most part, it's not causing me too much still, hassle still at the moment. It's so funny that they haven't put in what? like the rest of Cash yet. It's been two months. Yeah, well, I'll get onto that. Or two in sets. A, yeah, I'll get onto that in a second. But um, yeah, it's going fine. Um, we are. Uh, I'll talk, talk about that in a second anyway. Um, I do wish that Lulu Willilith was in the game at this point. It would make things a lot easier because uh, at the moment the send target for it's still like five headed dragon and it just doesn't do anything. I thought they got all those cards early. But... No, they haven't got Lulu yet. I imagine that Lulu Dispader, all of that shit will come out. Okay. in probably the next big thing um, but yes yeah, that'll be a while what was the oh yeah they didn't bring out Rescue Ace no you haven't got Rescue Ace yet More. that'll be a while no, um, I actually think it'll be next set yeah should be like, it will be next set yeah but that's still a month away <clears throat> Rescue Ace and the rest of Cash maybe all in one big set maybe well I no, mean we got all pearly although like, being that it's meta in the OCG well, now, they might bring it in with, like, immediate restrictions. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually getting within the window We're getting for quite close. OCG ban list as well. Yeah. Like, that normally would get its announcement for its announcement now. Yeah, yeah, letting people know not to crash the website because it'll be going up on X date. Yeah. Um... Yeah, and then physical card game has been going fine. Um, I'm slowly getting cards to make it a more meta-relevant list, because at the moment it's like sitting pretty much pure. Um, I realised I had a muckraker today, which I didn't think I had. Oh yeah, I was going to get you that shit. Yeah, no. Um, so yeah, I have a muckraker, I have all the DDD stuff. Um, the one thing I didn't have, or a couple things I didn't have, I don't have Goddess, I don't have mm. Zeus, and I still need. Uh, Why do you use Rhino? Time? Name all the Xyz decks yeah, that yeah, I wanted to run. Like Adding Mister. Nah, not an Xyz deck. There's an Xyz in there. There is. 
but you never summon it. <laughs> you could have. You don't, though. But you could. But you don't. Maybe that's why you're not having fun with that Ignista. You're not doing all of the extra deck mechanics. No, the reason that I haven't played Ignista for a long time is because the only way to play it now, to play it well, is to play it with Math Mech, and I refuse. <laughs> okay. Don't wanna. Also, don't you just lose to any Shifter like card? Well, yeah. You're playing Cybers, you just lose to Shifter. This is how it works. Yeah. We're Banish Cybers deck. Let me have it. Um, yeah. Give us one. And yeah. that isn't mm -hmm. like Cyber Spam. Because there's so much stuff they could explore in the Cyburst as well. Yeah, they kind of just got stuck in like one thing with that. I have no idea how this is going to work. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. <laughs> God, it is a bit chilly. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Kind of. Sorry. Technical difficulties. Um... <laughs> The most interesting thing that happened today is that I was versing Labyrinth in round three, and um, I've always feared it, but it hasn't come up. But he was playing Lord of the Heavenly Prison, <laughs> which stopped me from being able to destroy any of my set cards, which is like half of what my deck does. It was very annoying. I gave Kurt a hot tip today, and it's play Silent Graveyard. Uh, Leo gave him a better one, and it's to play the Gravekeeper spell. In that Valley? Which one's no. that one? Uh, yeah, Gravekeepers, something or other. No, it's uh, the one that's like you can only time. activate it main phase one, and it's like you can't summon from grave, or you can't activate effects in grave, yeah. or you can't do things. So it's it's like both, players, both players yeah. on both turns. Uh, on the following turn as well. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's cute. That's cute. So yeah, I if everyone these cards, but like, well, if everyone starts signing that in at locals, I will simply change deck. It's fine. Like, <laughs> I want to sign in Silent Graveyard, but it's just the fact that it also stops me from. Getting my summon back from Banish. Oh no. I want that summon back. It's a good extender. Here's the thing. Don't side directly for me. Why? We play each other every week. Why would I not side directly for you? Because it's cringe. That's how, that's how you win locals. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Have I lost? I've lost once to Jake. Yeah, the maybe, faithful week. Maybe that's a sign that I don't need to side. Yeah, just don't. <laughs> My side works fine already. Um, yeah, so the Lord of Heavenly Prism was an issue, but we got around it eventually. I tactics to make it get out of his hand. It's... What's a side deck? <laughs> Except less scales. Oh, there's more. Yeah, there's more. Um, so, uh, getting on to news, we start with Marcedal. Uh So, as we alluded to before, we have had Pearly, uh, Galaxy mm. Eyes, and um, the oh. Kunko all drop into Marcedal in the last week. Those three decks that all came out in the same set. Kind of. I pulled so much Galaxy Eyes shit. Same. <laughs> like, it was it, it, all I pulled. Yeah, it knew what I was here for. Like, at one point, I, I opened 70 packs, and Jake was watching me open them. And 10 packs of it was like, oh, you got an ultra rare. I was like, every card in this pack here, Jake, is galaxy eyes. And he was like, but you got an ultra rare. Again, mm. they're not guaranteed mm. to give you that shit. So be thankful that you got it. Except for the time when it is guaranteed because you because just you didn't pull it in the last one. Yeah, exactly. Shut up. I stockpile so much like sheer opening power though that it's like, it doesn't really matter. Hmm. Yeah, like... I've got... Pearly was easy to build, but I would have liked to have had the Makanko stuff on the side. But I, no, scra I scrapped all my Makanko stuff to build Pearly. Yeah, yeah. Ben only plays one deck at a time. And seeing as though Block Dragon's now gone, Gem Knight FTK will probably have to go bye bye I haven't played that deck in ages. Good. That deck is cringe. It's fine. And the other problem is too, once Fire Engine comes in, you're not going to play Pearly either. Yeah. So you have one month of playing this deck that you've crafted. They're going to release it, it with hits. They're going to release it hundred percent. Like they are airlifter at one. Or well, they released fucking pearly unchecked. Yeah, yeah that I found <clears> odd. <throat> and Sleepy's Ultra, which I'm surprised they didn't just put in Little Noir. Yeah, true. Oh, uh, E Pearly Noir's not in there yet. No. Give it, well, giving them the June OCG pack would have been pretty obnoxious, considering they've skipped the November pack for 
for cash. Yeah. <laughs> but they did that. They did that for branded. Where they were just like, here's yeah. the new branded cards. Also, here's the new new branded cards. <laughs> Which, Despite yeah, the fact and then they, they also went, oh, and here's uh, a Luba tattoo and branded opening tattoo and uh, fucking all the other shit of one, the bestials and shit. I'm like, confused by Seb's walking pattern. I think he's worried about tripping over something and that concerns me. That's why I was waiting for a break. Ah, it's fine. But we, we made yeah, one. You're saying that like Ben's going to edit around this. He absolutely isn't. Yeah, I, I considered it for all <laughs> look, 30 seconds. Look. And we now could edit a, a TikTok out of that. There's, just, there's so many TikToks on the cutting room floor, let me tell you. <laughs> Are any of them on TikTok? No. <laughs> Do you want to fix that? Yeah. Even um, last week, there was a couple of good ones from you. From you lot. You did well last week. Oh, we did. Thank you. My humour is up to standards for the people on the TikTok. Oh, this is the news <laughs> no, bit. This is the, that was the news bit. Bragg tags every video. Boomer talks about this. <laughs> How dare you? Hashtag funny bits. I don't own property. I'm not a boomer. Yeah, you just manage the sale of it. Yeah. You and? cultivate it. And? Hell. Nah, cards are better. Keep going. Anyway, uh, also Master Duel, we have uh, some new assets. They released uh, the dark box and the dark uh, icon surround last week, and now we have the light box and the light surround. And that's all the attributes I feel like that they run exist. out of ideas. <laughs> well, they're probably getting into like Halloween season soon, so there'll be some Halloween Ooh, assets. Uh, the they've dark. already done ghost tricks, so I don't know what else they're going to do. Um, There's plenty of spooky art types. <laughs> watch, watch them do ghost trick again. <laughs> They're just gonna do Ghost Trick again. Just Ghost Trick. What's wrong with doing Ghost Trick? Yeah, just Ghost Trick Festival. Every everyone has to play Ghost Tricks. Ranked. It takes everyone has to play so ranked. long. Exactly. <laughs> Playing Ghost Trick takes so fucking long. I was so hyped for when they released the solo mode for Ghost Trick. It took me like two hours to finish because it's just so fucking grindy. You're just like, oh, I can attack the game. Oh, you have Lantern. Oh, I can attack the game now. Oh, you have Jack Frost. Oh, you can attack me again? I have Lantern. <laughs> no, I have Ghost Trick Go Round. And Ghost Trick Jack Frost is an insane card. Yeah, it was good. It had its time, but not in Ghost Trick. <laughs> yeah. It was barely even a time as well. Yeah, it, was, very, it, was, it was enough it was... of a time for me to get fucked by it. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Um, the other thing I noticed about Master Duel is that I think tomorrow, or even the next day, the, uh, pa the Duel Pass resets. So this is both a... You mean I've been uh, playing question. ranked for nothing? <laughs> well, it depends. Can you get up to level 75 by the end of today? No, I've, I've already finished the oh, last one. Up. Yeah, let's shut the fuck up. I just only play it whenever there is a battle pass for me to be going through. You're playing it to practice with Pearly, let's be real. He's trying Why to not? tell <laughs> Why not? Why would you not? Because I have three of the good cards. <laughs> That's not practicing with shit. What if I want to play this on easy mode? Yay! I mean, eventually when you get up to a good rank, you'll verse good players. Yeah. Then I'll have to have a good build. Yeah. That's not just three evenly, three uh, Dark World No Morph. No Morph. And uh, never ever ever using them. Uh, so the reason I bring up the dual pass is for two reasons. One, to remind you yeah, to try and get up to level 75. Uh, and B, as to what we speculate will be in the next one. As Are we speculating the, the or do you know a leak? No, no. Only speculating. Legitimately only speculating. <laughs> That's weird because we sh normally would have the asset. Exactly, yeah. yeah. The asset would Usually um, oh. dueling with friends and uh, things like that would tell us um, somewhere. Maybe, yeah. That's weird that they're, they must be onto us. So therefore... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, well, would they do the Halloween? Would they do a Halloween tie in this early? Nah, probably not this so early. So it'll just be right? random. Oh wait, no, this is seventy. It's a sixty-day thing, so like they'd have to. Yeah, so it could be a spooky. Could be a spooky. It's um, gonna buddy. be Ghost Streak one that's not in the game yet. It was Lantern last one? Lantern was the last one. I really like the Lantern mate too. You would. <laughs> What's wrong with fucking Lantern? Have you got laundry as yours? No. Why the fuck not? Totally awesome. Uh, with, it, with its fucking dead eyes. But I, find, I hate the way they rendered it. It looks so it fucking looks, bad. It's really shit. I'll be real. 
I said it as my mate was like, fuck, this is shit. And was too lazy to change it. <laughs> I am just too lazy to change what it is. Oh, uh, phenomenal. You'll never get me to change from Ash Blossom. Ever. Oh, I hate it too. The fucking stupid noises it makes as yeah. well. I like them. Ugh. Do you guys play with sound on? Yes. Oh yeah, because I'm playing on my. You're playing on your phone. So you don't want people on the fucking street to hear you playing Marsville. In the train in Japan, where I finally get a seat and I sit in my little seat. I know it could be it could be cool to see some like extra deck stuff as mates. Oh yeah, we got Zeus. That's all. Maybe some extended. Pearly buddy. We don't have Zeus, mate. I thought we did. No. Maybe that was a leak that wasn't real. See, you can I? We can leak things that aren't real. Um, oh, maybe that's how we disguise it. We know th- what the what leaks we are. Lie? We just, we just like, yeah. It's like that. Um, the meme that was ages ago of like a dude with like twenty different um, tickets for parking on his thing, and then had like what? the picture of the dude from Saw saying, "I'd like to play a game." <laughs> Guys, like he'd pay, like he had oh, heaps of different pay yeah. park stubs, and he had to work out whether they were in date or not. Yeah, Except in did. Australia, they think about it properly and they do colour codes and like the date in massive letters. Well, they just still chalky tires. The new maid yeah, is Pearl Lily. Yeah, I was going. It's Pearl Lily. You reckon? Do you want to put money yeah. on that? No, I want no, plump. No. Plump, plump, I'm plump. I'm just making it, I'm leaking it now. I leaked it, Konami. Ban me. Do uh, it. <laughs> could be noir. Just do you really there. think they'd go in swinging with a pearly mate? For like a pass when they could just like add it in as a paid asset and they get people sell to buy it, to you it. For exactly. fake money oh that oh that'd actually be really cool if they did um the deluxe mate of pearly so you had pearly normally and then kind of like the guy one when you summon from the extra deck it becomes one of the other ones yeah yeah so you summon the fat one becomes fat summon the beautiful one becomes beautiful you don't have to code don't know why those two are separate um <laughs> yeah can i body shaming <laughs> <laughs> Konami's run by Lizzo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Lizzo was Japanese. <laughs> Delicious memories, just bananas. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a good giggle of a meme that's like dead for three weeks. Um, yeah, true. Now we pre-recorded this. <laughs> that, that was like my force-feeded memes from Facebook whenever when I was in Japan. <laughs> I was just like, oh, Lizzo must have done something. And they're like 50 memes every day of yeah, being like You can't this. click on them. You can't no, I never them. clicked anything. I think it's because I you, slowed down once to be like, what the fuck happened? Oh, okay. You yeah, lingered. No, you looked, it, no, it tracks your eyes. It knows you looked. You lingered. Brits watched me browse Facebook from behind my shoulder before. And I just literally just go scroll, 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 scroll. And I'm reading all of it. I'm just scroll, 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 scroll. Haunting. Like, I'm just non-stop scrolling. But at no point do I actually stop to read anything. I just consume everything that's happening. As I go. Disgusting. I'm just like, is the, uh, is the lost, is the, uh, old-timey people, like the old-timey page that posts memories of the town, um, has they posted today? Yes, they have. Let's go in the comments. (laughs) (laughs) And argue about crack addicts in the mall. (laughs) There is a lot of crack addicts in the mall. Yeah. There is. But you don't need to comment it on every single post. Yeah, like yeah, you do. we don't need <laughs> we don't need hourly updates on the crackheads in the mall. Why does everyone who does crack just want to go to the mall? It's just it's. Does this happen in your malls? Let us know. Like I'm like I'm talking open air malls as well. Like, yeah, we have an open air mall, and it's just, just, just filled with crackheads. They or practice people, crack food. Or random people down there and they're like. There are a lot of them that like are either doing some sort of martial art or like it's called crack food at a, Jake. at a silent it's crack food at a silent disco it's crack food anyway moving on to some other news um a couple of weeks ago i think we discussed the rank seven that was hinted at for shonen jump yep. uh, that has now been fully leaked or announced rather it needs one more effect uh so it uh yeah the effect is uh detach destroy a card or in your hand or field and one card your opponent controls non-targeting uh, and then you can banish two dragons or fires in your grave and special summon it but it goes back to the extra deck when it leaves the field so it's kind of like a uh, magic uh sync eight dragon but worse it should also attach Could... something when it summons so at least it comes back with a pop so assuming you have a level seven extender lying around you can if you summon off the baby dragon ruler Yep. You can then banish Blaster 
to bring this back and then you get the blaster effect for banishing so it's there's some okay cute stuff I, I just like I wish it had the ability to pop again when it came back that's yeah. it yeah like just come on it's just it's use just, that card that you uh, experienced in Pearly the other day where someone stole oh, all your smoke materials. Mosquito. Just, oh, yeah. that card. Yeah, steal well, someone that, else's materials. That never materials. successfully resolved. So, what's the future of Dragon Rulers, though? Is it going to be all XEs for them? Are we expecting them to do a Synchro, a Link, and a Fusion? <laughs> Imagine if the babies were Tunis. Uh, a rod of the baby dragon rulers to be tuners. Just yeah. make them tuners. So are they doing the same thing they did for the ice barriers that they did for the... Are they just doing this again for the dragon rulers? That would be nice. To make them, each of them an extra deck card. Bring yeah. them all back to three. Mm. This one's kind of timely because it's uh, fire. fire related. <laughs> and it's the year of fire. Yeah. Well, the four months of fire. By the time it gets back to January, they'll forget about this again. Ah, it's the year of fire. So we don't know this yet. Yes. We had the, we had the wind year. I remember that much. The, Water years around. I Water mean, would you no count year. Adamantipator as Earth year? No. Or Earth three month that no, everyone no. forgot about because it was the worst time in the entire world. I miss those uh, dueling with friends days. I do. Not. I don't. <laughs> those things were horrid. I don't want to duel with friends no more. On Discord, yeah. It was cool. I remember like getting to sit around and all, just talk on Discord all night. That was fun. But the sad but also, reality that we were doing that because we weren't allowed to go to locals sucked. <laughs> Yeah, well, at least we could never weren't allowed to go to locals, but we weren't allowed to go anywhere. We could go to Woolworths, and that was it. No, and even then, it was like once a week. My work was like, you better fucking show up. I was like, okay, show up. Weird. Yeah, there's a couple of weird exemptions where I'm like, eh, is this really? How, how is regional television an essential uh, asset and not trading cards? They're both entertainment. Yes. Why couldn't I play trading guards? Actually, uh, but then you had the shields and stuff. Nah, it was it was an okay time. But so at the end of the day, give me a sing. It's going to be a synchro title, um, one. How would you even summon it though? It would have to be yeah. So you'd have to do contact views. Manage them from grave. Yeah, but if but if they make it a level seven synchro, which they almost certainly will. Oh, seven synchro, right? Um. You'd have to bring out like a bespoke. Oh, with the bestials and shit, it'd be fine. What level are the baby dragon rulers? Are they threes? Threes. Yeah. One of them's a two, I think. Um, you could do a level leader sort of scenario. Mm -hmm. Give him a little baby dragon that's a level leader. Yeah, that'd be sick. Just reduce level by one, come back. It's a two knock. Oh, and then, they, then they forget to put any restrictions insane. on it. No, no, make, <laughs> yeah. it, make it like. Make it like Fire Hydrant for the Dragon Rulers. It um, is the tutor that reduces the level so you can get shit on. It's polymerization and oh, it's yeah. like a named link material for a Link 2 Dragon Ruler. And it can increase. Just make it like. And it increases the, level to seven. And then during the end phase, it adds itself back to hand from yeah. Graveyard. Just make it the most central part of all of them. Yeah, and call it. And make it a light monster. <laughs> yeah, make it none <laughs> yeah. of the attributes. And then release. We know what you're up to, Konami. Light we see you. <laughs> anyway, uh, next bit of news. Um, very soon we have the Age of Overlord set uh, releasing here in the TCG. And as such, we have uh, some pre-release goodies. When is the pre-release? Very soon. Really? I say what? very soon because I don't know the date. Ah. Um, so we get um, the October main monster. 16th. Hmm? October 16th. I think you might be right. Wait, but that's the next week, isn't it? October. Oh, October. Sorry, I forget what month. Anyway, um, so the main monster of the set is the Retrain Zark card um, that features heavily in the assets. So we have the new Zark Matt, which is kind of cool. I is like it? the colors. I like the colors and things, and I think I still have the other Zark mats. That'll be a nice matching set. Okay. I actually kind of like the new Pendulum stuff too. I might give it a crack. I won't talk down of your opinions. I mean, historically, that's untrue. I, I just want to... You are that's, right about that. That's such just, a fucking lie. I just want to let you have your time to shine today, Duke. You haven't. 
The first ten minutes of this you shat upon me from a great height, you fuckhead. Anyway, besides the map, we also get the field center, which also features Nuzark, although doesn't feature nearly as much of him because his wingspan is enormous. Uh, and then the promo for this one is... Oh, uh, clip wings. Do, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Blessing of the Horus. Um, one of the new Horus level 8s. I think this Secret is... Secret Ray confirmed. Yeah. I think it's the good one as well. Yeah, I think, um, I think it's a good Secret one. Secret Ray confirmed. So it's ultra... a set of expensive cards. Yep. Yeah, this is going to be an x set. If only they gave us the, um, the level 1 summon each chick. The well, the engine that summons it's not evil eye, is it? Does it's the other one? No, that, uh, is, that is in this set, it's in this set, but it's not a promo. The snake eye, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want it as the promo, yeah. But then it means it's a secret rare, yeah. Um, oh, she's gonna be secret rare no matter what, yeah. True, but I would also like the ultra just because. Uh, the ultra the, will the be thing is, the ultra will be more expensive because the way they do the promos now, you only get one of them, yeah. I think that's just an us thing, but you only need one. What, like an Australia thing? Yeah, because we only get like one kit per store. Sometimes mm. less. There's sometimes no kit per store. Quite often no kit per store. <laughs> um, what else was it going to be? Yeah. What if I gave you nothings? Oh, did anyone get anything good from the OTS packs? No. No. Oh, shocker. Uh, we do have a new <laughs> Fire King card having been announced as well for the upcoming yeah, structure speaking deck. of... Um, so, this one, um, if a monster you control that attributes fire, summons itself. Yeah. Um, if it's normal special, you add a fire king spell trap from deck to hand, and then mm. during the next standby phase, after this card is destroyed, add it back to your hand. Um, and what level was that monster? Uh, level one, Bragg. Oh. Fire wing beast. Oh. That's another searchable card. <laughs> I just, and it's 200 defense as well, yeah? Yes. <laughs> 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 just all fire monsters will now be level one with 200 defense well you've got to do it just to make sure that it's good ulti rekindling when oh christ if they do that in they should put that in the ra rarity fucking... collection oh this is the other thing i was going to bring up um yes in the tins there were some notable uh missing cards i'd like to bring something up we talk about is it the thing that I'm literally talking about? No, 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 no. <laughs> in the fire set that we just got with the Salamine Great set, mm -hmm. did they ignore me? Mm. <laughs> I remembered. Okay. Are you going to edit this out or are we. No, no, no. I was going to be like, they didn't put a ghost drawer in there, but they did. They did. They absolutely did. Okay. It was the only reason anyone ever bought the set. And even then, anyone's an exaggeration. Yeah. Not even Josh brought the set. Do we even have the set set in our store? Yeah, I think so. It's the only I thing in there. I don't think anyone's bought any of it. No. <laughs> the set's so fucking bad. Um, but yeah, like um, there was some notable. Oh, that was the other thing I meant to do today. Fuck, I meant to chuck that off for auction. I'll have to get some. Ah, uh, you was meant to buy some of that set. Damn. No, I wasn't. I was meant to put my Kurikara Divincarnate up for auction because that wasn't reprinted. Why don't you use it? Because I only have one searchable yeah. not yet <laughs> you can small world that higher into it absolutely oh, not god small world but you can do it i can do it small world in the tins no wrong tins were they in the tins okay yeah i think they were yeah, but yeah like there were some cards that like would have been good to be in the tins should have been in the tins and weren't do we expect those to make an appearance in the rarity collection no. So they're going to change the content. This is what I'm thinking they might do. Hear me out. Wait, what no. cards are you alluding to? Well, Kurikara was one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, the not that it's super important currently, but the Tier Elements Field Spell. Yeah. They didn't put any T cards in there. When were we going to get a T uh, Kit Callus Reaper? I'm a fan of a stutter. <laughs> you don't have a stutter. You just fell upon that particular word. have a brain skip. Oh, we did have a water set. So yeah, we won't get a we won't get in a water set. Yeah, when maybe we'll Wait, get are like you a counting tier element as water. Yes, yes, it has one. The rest of them are dark. What's what wins the game? The aquas. Uh, the field spell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a fair point. And and Ciliac. A spell attribute. I'll pay that. 
Shocking. Um, the more I think about it, the more I think that Ciliac was one of the most broken cards I've ever released. It's pretty good. Oh, you missed it? Oh, it's okay. You get another card. Yeah. Oh, you destroyed it. Anyway, search. And the fact that it's a permanent negate. Like, oh, I had to send a card to the graveyard as my, like, oh, cost no. of this. It's a neg. Oh, well. Well, no, it's not. It stays on the field. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can do it again. Oh, cool. Oh, Jesus. Um, what else was missing? I had a mental list, but Bad. brain go bye bye. Jake's a mentalist. Today you weren't. Christ's sake, Seb. <laughs> Is he going to have a TV show that no one really watches and just goes on forever? No, no, some people must have watched that. Jake's show was pretty fucking popular. Simon. Simon. The Burns. big chicken that wasn't. As attractive as I feel she should have been. close, isn't it? I don't think it is that. Is she? I wouldn't know. No, no, she wasn't as attractive as I feel she should have been. Yeah, the police detective lead in this show is not attractive. Oh. To Jake. Well, that's what... I mean, that's the only reason to watch those shows, isn't it? No. Or Ahsoka. I thought you watched that show for... What's-his-face? That Simon guy. Simon... The Australian. Simon Mental. Like, they pushed that show hard they did. growing up. They're like, it's got an Australian lead, but it's made by Americans. This is going to be the greatest show you've ever seen. <laughs> this is just tangent central today. It really is. And again, it's good. Uh, we're light on news. Um, Foreign but we people, moved did back... you ever watch The Mentalist? <laughs> Was it on your tellies? <laughs> Please don't address our audience as foreign people. <laughs> I'm talking to the foreign people. Because... <laughs> Stop saying it! <laughs> what do you want me to call them, Jake? People, of, people of the world? No, that includes us. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're in the world. I'm going to call them Northies. 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 Do you watch The Mentalist? I hope, that, I hope that's with an F. <laughs> yes. Nor Northies. Nor Northies. We are not interested in our New Zealand or South African opinions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't want to hear from you. They don't want to hear we want to hear from the Northies. They don't want to hear our opinions, Mark. <laughs> Mark. 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 It's okay. They don't You lingered. That's, that's too many Donna references. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a bucket. <laughs> oh. Ah, the one. That's, that's a oh, my God. I, please say you're finished. Thank God. I could close that. That would could... be great. Wait, uh, it's not closed? <laughs> no. <sighs> oh, it's um, not stop on that. We do have some aesthetic products coming out soon as well. Um, they're not particularly good, but... Oh, yeah, um, shit. We've got uh, Yugi and Kaiba sleeves, a uh, Yugi folder. I'm assuming Kaiba's on the other side. Um, and a sure Yugi product. and Kaiba mat and box. The mat sucks too. Yeah, all of it is just a little bit shit. I'm fairly sure this stuff was in Japan when I was there. Yeah, probably. But or now, is this the now we get it. Yeah. I don't this remember is... seeing those sleeves and being like... Pfft. Is this February? February out? 8th, yeah. So that's the... They've missed the Christmas period, which is good, because if you got that for a gift, you'd be very sad. Why do they like that February um, accessory slot so much? That's so like four or five years in a row they've done it, and they're always underwhelming. You know what? I'm impressed that my relatives don't get me shitty Yu-Gi-Oh gifts. My relatives don't get me gifts, period. Actually, no, that's not true. For Christmas last year, um, my mum got me a big box of... Uh, being boozled the jelly beans that are either really nice or really shit <laughs> the harry potter um jelly basically beans. those yeah the whole trash ones weren't that bad yeah. this guy i won't eat the horseradish jelly beans he says on the floor i was in a hospital bed <laughs> yeah but you said this on the floor I'm not on the floor. On the hospital floor. You will be. <laughs> After it. Jesus. After 12 horseradish jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the OCG has now gotten the uh, Gate Guardian Labyrinth cards, um, and they've got some name changes. Basically, um, everything either becomes magical or a demon. Ooh. So the Labyrinth Heavy Tank is now the Labyrinth Heavy Magical Tank. Uh, Shadow Ghoul is still Shadow Ghoul, thankfully. Oh. Yeah. Shadow Demon Ghoul. Uh, the yeah, only thing they doing. changed of that is in the TCG it's Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth, and in the OCG it's Shadow Ghoul lurking in the Labyrinth. Oh yeah, their names in the original Game Boy games were different, weren't they? 
from the cards, and that's probably the, I'll be the, real. the translating I, I back to you. Never played the labyrinth stuff because I was like, "What do you mean it doesn't go inside of it? I ain't touching this shit." You can summon Sorry? shadow wall in defense mode, and then well, yeah, shadow. Do you have a shadow wall in the shadow. Oh, because they didn't do the thing the in the anime of like, oh yeah, move through the walls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it should be if you attack labyrinth wall, he comes out. So Legin didn't go inside of the lamp. The dragon captures the dragons don't go in the capture jar. Should True, be. and then they don't go into uh, the Toon World and season become one lied Toon. To bring, bring the Se- season one lied repeatedly. When are we going to do Drunk Yu Gi Oh again? Where we again? watch we watch season one oh. and then we drink every time they do something that's not real. Right. I need to bring more drink. Last time I don't think I had enough. Last time. Yeah, last time we were all blitzed halfway through yeah. the weevil of a, the weevil match. I don't remember it. Yeah, there was so much cheating. Um, and then the big fusions, um, all are demonic now, which they weren't before. No idea why. But they're the getting them, which is cool. Um, I appreciate that they're getting them. Damn. Yeah, because the OCG will do something cooked with it. Well, it, like, we've had, like, a few runs now of just these... It's almost like all these TCG exclusive stuff sucks. Not really. They haven't, they haven't innovated on any of the shit we've given in the last few years. They haven't. Weird. They've only just got it, though. They haven't actually released any of the additional They cards. didn't do anything with Vendreds. Yeah, they did. Hardly. They got, like, another three support cards that came out. Yeah, they didn't fairly. do anything. Yeah, they all sucked. The level six is insane. No, I'm talking about the player base. Have I've... you ever lost to the level six Vendred? I've not had a play exactly. against me. Exactly. I haven't had a play against me. So That's fine. I can't say for sure whether I'd win or lose. Both, both equal bad. Yeah, they'll get a couple more exclusive cards and then they'll all talk about it. wasn't even good enough again. for someone to try it against you. Seb. Second place at Store Chance. He yelled second place at Store Chance. Yeah, I forgot he's on mic. Seb didn't yell. That's, I wasn't that's at not the Store yelling. Champs. Which Store Champs? Yeah, which Store Champs? Gone? Yeah. Oh. I remember oh. this Store Champs, but for some reason I wasn't there. Because you versed Josh in the final. <laughs> And you recorded it because I wasn't there and you fucked it up. I'm going to let you have your moment in the sun, Jake. Also, Ben. <laughs> Fuck you, idiot! <laughs> I gave you your time. <laughs> it's time to get back on the offensive. <laughs> oh, you unbearable cunt. Um, hey, you're saying that on the podcast. That will genuinely get us demonetized. Actually? Yep. Lucky. Is that why we don't have Blake on anymore? Ah, that's one, of, that's one of the words that gets you demonetized. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's racist. Yeah, that's actually... We un- no longer want to hear the opinions of the people in the North. Damn, North. Northies! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then on the last bit of news that I have here, I think... Yes, the last bit of news. Uh, the track list has been announced for the uh, Music to Duel by disc... Uh, thing that's coming out soon. Woo! Um, basically, it just goes through the anime. Yeah. Um, so like they've got the stuff from Duel Monsters, like the Dark Magician theme, Anger of the Gods, Duel of Friendship, whatever the fuck that is. Um, the Battles of the Gods, Fang of Critias, um, Judai the theme. Thing? I probably did say the same thing twice. Yep. Um, Jack's theme, Yusei's theme. Jack's uh, theme was kind of cool from what I remember. Oh, the Five Ds themes in there, Ben. Well, this is OCG though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not a five days thing. Yeah, oh, he yeah, will not be right. going no, fast. That's right. He will yeah, not be four kids. But I can play yeah, that theme and then pretend that it's saying it, and then I can just try and sing it out of tune to it. Oh, you don't have to try and sing it out of tune. You'll be on there. Don't worry. It's gonna be spot on. To your point. Um, not even the correct greens wording. Oh, seven and go rush themes are on there as well. Those are the same. I mean. I'm, I'm kind of curious to get through all that because Go Rush does not make any sense to me at the face of it. I but only watch the episodes that are on TV whenever I put on normal TV once every six months and at no point does any of it make sense. The start makes sense. It's alright. I haven't watched normal TV since April. Nothing on, in it? Essential service. I don't need to use it. <laughs> yeah. It only exists for old people. Pretty much. Yeah. Old people and young people. <laughs> like, real young people. <laughs> like, I was going to say, you've kind of covered the, the gambit there. <laughs> old people and young people. It's like over 55s and mm. under 10s that don't have iPads. 
And even then, like, most adults will just, like, give them the phone and put on fucking Cocomelon. What's that? Dun, 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 dun. Well, you don't have any, like, nieces or nephews or anything? You've not had to... Yeah, her nieces like... and nephews are one. Yeah. Yeah, so she'd already be on the Cocomelon train. Cocomelon yeah. <laughs> that is prime Cocomelon age. No, I just watch In the Night Garden with him and go, like, Eagle Peagle's G. <laughs> yeah. Nolan TCG not respecting his competitors. Disrespectful. But that was the last time I watched normal TV. Sorry, I lied. I watched normal TV like two months ago when me and my nephew watched In the Night Garden. I hate that show. Teletubbies was better. In the Night Garden was like that. fucking creepy as fuck. Yeah. Fucking ninky It dogs. sounds creepy. It sounds like a murder mystery. So it's... it's. Eagle Piggle could uh, suck. Yeah, there's, so there's I'll be honest, puppets. I don't care enough. No, no. So there's puppets. But no one talks. Yeah. And they just do stupid shit. It's Teletubbies with a bigger supporting cast. Yeah. And a clock. <laughs> there, like the episode. I need you. No. no, no child in the sky. The character was <laughs> stacking rocks. Yeah, and that's it. And it plays like ding 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 ding. Yeah. It's, me- it's meant to calm kids down and stuff, but nah, my my brother's always got hyped as fuck. I was just sitting there with my pizza. <laughs> stacking <laughs> rocks. <laughs> Hope he doesn't watch this. Don't think he does. Did he come today? No. no. Moving on to questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Our first one this week comes to us from Ryan Guyan, um, formerly known as Ryan Guy. Oh. <laughs> He's advanced to his second form. <laughs> uh, if you could swap the art Bad. style or play style of two archetypes, what would they be? <sighs> For example, he thinks it would be funny if Albaz Law was in the pearly style. <laughs> what? Sorry, I, I, that confused the shit. Catholic me. cats. I'll be, re- I'll be start talking about law and I'll. No, I'm thinking like, of the other one. No. Yeah, you're thinking of fucking uh-huh. Exorcisters. Yeah. Right. No. Um. Albaz is cast into um yeah, it's shit a, it's from a church, the Catholics, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Dogmatica yeah. is like yeah. yeah the church people without yeah. saying it, Catholics. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The C word. Then, I think it would be funny. <laughs> if... That C word might also get us demonetized. <laughs> I think it would be cool if we put Frog Law in the TCG because they hate it. In Ghost Tricks. Swap Pearly Law and um, Frog Law. Yeah. The plump is just a fat toad. Yeah, Ronan and Toad and eating the sushi. Yes. You gotta banish sushi pieces to bring him back. Sushi? Yeah! Combine frog and arm um, sushi. Yes. Give the them same law. Something that makes them playable. Yeah, make them captains of the sushi. It has nothing to do with the question. However, I now want a crossover of the um, ritual chefy cards and sushi. You can just pretend that they... You can just whack them together and hope for the best. However, that's not what I asked for. Eh, we all like to pretend. Just like when Eagle Piggle had his his bicycle and I don't fucking know. (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck are you saying? (laughs) And the Ninky Nogs. Had a bike. The the what? The Ninky Nogs. It's the little, it's the fucking thing he um drags around with him, like the little um. What are they called? Not. not, It's a rock tumbler. You people have lost your minds. Yeah, the little carriage thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck yeah, is wrong with you? Macapaka. Oh, Macapaka! <laughs> Macapaka was stacking rocks, yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maca stacker. Uh, what else would you swap? Because, like, just trying to think like an iconic law line that would make sense. Well, so you've got the Cleaves. You could swap them. Swap them with Shadows. So the... The Cleese win? Because the Shadol's like, she whipped that fucking him into well, shape. Well, the, the Cleese thought they won. Oh. And then um, Construct went and sat on towers and was like, I am now Earth Bitch. Suck it. <laughs> when did yeah, Deca- so she just goes when over. did Decatron get there? Decatron was after Klee. Okay. Yeah, because they go... <laughs> yeah, they like crashed down into the centre of the Earth where all of the um, Infernoids were frozen. They're in your graveyard? Now we swap them with ghost tricks. 
Jack Frost lands on Clee Towers. Just Jack Frost on Towers. Yes. <laughs> we know what we're talking about. Uh, next question comes to us. Actually, I think it's a couple of questions. God, uh, good from question. Six I six. Of thought. I wish I read it earlier in the week. Uh, so, first question from Six I Six: What is your favorite caffeinated beverage, and <laughs> does packaging color impact your choice? No. I feel like he's doing market research. My favorite caffeinated beverage is whatever caffeine I consume directly after consuming Picari Sweat. Still angling for that sponsorship, I see. Yeah, but his is Coke I Zero. I found a way to get Picari Sweat, but it's like eighty dollars for like twenty. Just use the powder. I don't want the powder. It's the exact same. I want. The <laughs> I don't want the bottles. chicken. I want the pasta. <laughs> the powder was really good the other day, but when you forget it and you think you're drinking water, you're like, "Oh, this is salty. What have I done?" <laughs> See, if you just had a regular Picari sweat that was already pre-mixed, you wouldn't have this problem. Yeah. But I just want Picari sweat. Look, <laughs> and I just want pasta. When it comes to caffeinated beverages, I'm not. I'm not picky. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I get it into my body. Um, Why can't Amazon have Picari lot. sweat? Have you checked? Yeah, it doesn't have it. Flying power. Yeah. Oh, flying power's a bit rough. It's a bit. It's better than flying power. Is the off-brand Red Bull from Aldi, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, they had really good big cans for a bit, and then they got rid of them. I'm so sad. They were cheap as as well. Now I'm back to paying fucking a million dollars for the my only caffeine addiction. Drink that I consume that has caffeine in it, in it is Coke Zero. Coke Zero, yeah. That's uh, it. I do not consume caffeine. My in any other drink unless it has it in there and doesn't tell me. My favorite is coffee. Um, the packaging does not matter. We do spend an exorbitant amount on the beans that we buy. I don't want to. They're from Brazil. They're probably not. Don't uh, hear from you either. <laughs> only North East. Yes. Only the Northies. And even then, we might not listen to them. <laughs> um, yeah. I wish we spent less on the beans, but my brother won't drink it otherwise. Um, <laughs> what if... He's you... very snobby, despite not knowing how to make a fucking coffee properly. What if you just get other beans and tell them that they're their beans? I would, but I'd have to then like hide the packet, which is far too much effort to go through. I did find it the other day, like, we were trying to get our beans in, they hadn't arrived yet, so he's like, oh, I'll just go to Woolies and grab a thing of beans. They were already pre-ground. It doesn't work properly. So now we just have a container of pre-ground coffee beans that we can't use. Coffee grinders must, must just be funny to me. Uh, but anyway, yeah, people. I have a coffee at a machine in my house. Um, I haven't had to buy a coffee for myself in a very long time, which is nice. Let's go. Coffee's like my my next level. Like I can drink. Wait, so you'll have multiple like Red Bulls and Mothers. Yeah. And literally, literally the way you know Bragg wakes up in the morning is just here. <laughs> like, oh, Bragg's awake. <laughs> um, and then, but you know, like for some reason, coffee is just stronger than it for me. So if I'm truly want to be awake, I'll but have the, a coffee. But the thing with coffee is you have to wean yourself into it. You <laughs> can't like start just going in for like straight espresso and cappuccinos and stuff. You need to start with like the basic white bitch drink of like a half strength caramel mocha, which has like chocolate and caramel flavoring oh, yeah, in it. So you don't right, yeah. taste any of the coffee. And then slowly you work the sugar out of it until you're just having like two straight espresso shots for a breakfast. So that's the reason why I don't drink Red Bulls and all that other shit is because because it's a gateway drug. No, no, no. It's <laughs> the day I actually need it. I want it to fucking work. <laughs> what up? No, it's nothing. Um, no, nah, but I mean, look at me. I'm a living example of coffee, but working. But I don't know. Maybe it's a mental thing. I'm sure it is. Um, the chick that used to work with me but no longer works with me used to say that like having coffee all the time like um, throws out your hormones so you think that you're having good energy and you're feeling good but it's actually just your hormones out of whack and like the surge of um, all the good stuff for that brief time. Did she learn that from her crystals? <laughs> <laughs> she was that kind of chick, yeah. Oh, so Jake, <laughs> you decided to take that advice. I, no, I didn't take her advice at all. Uh, I didn't listen to her. Well, you decided to junction. give the Northies that I advice. Can... No, I didn't give that as advice. All I said was the crazy girl that I used to work with said that this was the you thing. You didn't preface it with crazy earlier. Uh, anyway, she was crazy. Yeah, but the way caffeine works, I can see how that how that happens. But no, not full hormonal shifts though. 
It's kind of weird. It actually makes you sleepier, and then it wakes you up instead. It's weird. It's good. Read up on it. Read it's up on depressing. caffeine. Yeah. yeah. Which I've always thought it was a stimulant, but... I don't know. I just made that up. Well, no, because it... Well, no, we're not talking about it. I'm Dr. Ben. There's far Please better know. podcasts that cover caffeinated beverages. If you walk into a hospital and you see this man about to examine you, <laughs> walk the fuck out. I'm Dr. Ben. <clears throat> Next question from 6R6. Uh, what keeps you interested in playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Winning packs, learning new archetypes, attempting to make busted combos? Genuinely, it's the friends I make along the way. <laughs> it is kind of that at this point. Yeah, like, I'm... it is purely a social thing. Yeah. That's it. It's the friends I make along the way. So I heard... Uh, sorry, side note. I heard Seb messing with the foil and I was like, you better not be fucking touching my dinner. <laughs> Been smelling that dinner. It you can smell it in the really elevator. Good. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's great. I'm making a brisket for dinner, and you can smell it on the ground floor of our apartment complex. Wafts. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, it's half habit, half the, it, the game does still genuinely interest me just to follow. Like, I don't know, there's just something there that I just like it. Yeah. It is a social thing. Like, if I weren't doing this, I would probably just start, like, working on myself as a person and oh, say, he'd be on crack in the mall like yelling at people <laughs> Jake learns that crack is $20 yeah <laughs> karate in the mall <laughs> and then straight to the hospital oh, Dr. Ben <laughs> <laughs> you uh, need... well you see you need to do double crack <laughs> cancels out the bad crack Jesus Christ is double crack a depressant or a stimulant <laughs> Uh, our last question comes to us from Ryan Gein again. What makes a good locals slash OTS? Uh, them pricing packs accurately and also appreciating that the, that, that community supports the stores in other ways instead of going, oh no, this pack is worth $7. So that's, in, that's, that's the value. It's like, no, you got it for far cheaper than that. Fair price support. OTS. Yeah, that too. Yeah, OTS does in fact make a good OTS. Um, the friends you've made along the way. <laughs> but you hate people... most OTS packs. Surely just... Yeah, I really He's don't hated do like too fast. five of the last six. Genuinely, me playing Yu-Gi-Oh! is just about getting to hang out with people that I like. And like... keeping content going for the channel. Not really. I can stop that tomorrow if I wanted to. <laughs> Genuinely, I enjoy the friendship of going to cards with everyone. Why is it so hard to believe? He said everyone. Yeah, that's the part that I'm stuck on. I like the. That includes um. Mm. I like everyone. That includes mm. Yeah, it includes Kurt. Mm. I'm calling you out, Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> you Nibiru playing fuck. <laughs> I was going to go the Lachlan direction. I mean, he yeah. doesn't even fucking turn. He up. doesn't. He doesn't go. Um, he hasn't yeah. turned up in forty-two years. So yeah, the <laughs> things that I would say make a good locals is uh, a good bunch of players, both in the fact that they're good players and good people. Communication uh, you want... between store and player base. Yes, uh, a good store owner slash staff that like support you as a group. Um, good, like good numbers. Like, you want a healthy number at your locals every week so that you actually get to play some games. But not too healthy. <laughs> no, it's fine. I, I don't think... Not I, too I, healthy so that your ration of OTS packs doesn't get handed. I don't think I'd have the patience for 30 people uh, every locals. Well, something like eight people get OTS packs. Be fucked. And just so many rounds. Yeah, it's... Yeah. I'm here for three to four hours. Yeah. Anything after that. Which I imagine goes further with more people. Divisions. Oh, that was a shit burp. I waited too long. It was sitting there as a good burp and then I let it dissipate. Um, Dr. What Ben's else? diagnosis. Um, availability of product is also a good one. Um, but yeah, in the, last few, in the last few years that has been more of an issue for us. And probably other stores around Australia as well. Not doing top cut twists. That makes a good locals. Yeah. Well, that's not a locals thing. That's more a tournament thing. Uh, it's part of your locals. Top Cut Swiss. Your locals does Top Cut Swiss. It's probably your shit locals. Um, that does conclude us for questions. However, just before we uh, cut for this week, I just want to have a quick, <clears throat> quick check and see if there's any 
information about uh, YCS Canada that's happening at the moment that I might be able to piggyback on. Ooh. For that, you should consult the blog. The blog is located on konamiblog.us. I just, um, I just don't some... understand. Surely every region has some Yugi tuber lying around that could whip up literally anything. Literally, MST.TV lives in Canada. Who? Oh, there's heaps. Team there's Samurai X1 M lives in Camera. Camera? <laughs> Camera. Or did he move to LA? Or was it Truth that moved to LA? I don't know. One of them started doing content there. I don't pay enough um, attention. Distant Coders, Canadian. Ruggles is Canadian. Distant Coders banned. I don't yeah, so know if he ever actually was. I don't think that actually was, because otherwise he wouldn't be doing Master Duel content. He's banned. <laughs> do you remember give you a different Cosy ID for Master Duel tournaments instead of regular tournaments? No idea. Or well, do you reckon he got banned and then just made another OTS, made another account, entered into Master, Master Duel, and he was like, well, they can't ban me for this? I mean, perhaps. Fuck. Couldn't possibly comment. This has been a long podcast. It has been. With no news. <laughs> Again, there was like six there has news been, stories. But the, the thing is, I've been trying to stretch out what we do have. Why? Now we stretch too far. I no, can't it's all right. believe that I read how YCS ended. We'll get the YCS results next week. Who yeah, wins? There's nothing on there at the moment. Read, um, read up I, on it. I hope it's Rescue Way, so it comes into the light just before uh, the ban list comes in, nah, so that fine. Uh, Hydrant goes to one. Rescue Ace players don't know how to play around Kashira, so Kashira will do well. I think Kashira is doing well, Unchained will do well. Will it? Ah, oh, no, maybe it up. <laughs> God, that sucks. <laughs> Uh, thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, like I said, jump into our Discord, ask us some questions. Uh, what? Uh, no, favorite us if you're listening. Subscribe if you're watching, and we'll catch you all next week. Peace. Bye.